At the East Ave Wegmans, a new drink is filling the shelves in the most convenient place in front of the cash register, kombucha. According to the market research firm Spins, kombucha increased dollar sales from the beginning of 2018 to the beginning of 2019 by over 50%. But what is kombucha and why is it so popular now? Here's Kat Schwarz. She started brewing kombucha at home and now runs Kat Bucha in Rochester. Thankfully it's not Saturday. So kombucha is a fermented tea drink. Um, it's a living drink. It has low sugar, low carbs, low calories, um, and it has live microbes in there or probiotics, um, just ones that we don't physically add in. Um, they actually grow in the drink and then you consume them. Those little microbes are actually really beneficial for your entire body, um, but predominantly your gut helps to repopulate your gut. She describes the taste as a sweet, tangy soda that comes in a variety of flavors that range from the base tea itself and other ingredients that anyone can add in. The drink does have a small amount of alcohol, typically around 0.5%, low enough for it to be labeled as non-alcoholic. Anything that's fermented has a byproduct of alcohol. You know, there's no hubbub around, you know, alcohol and kimchi or alcohol and pickles. Like, those also have alcohol in them, too. One, tea is super healthy for you. A tea has adaptogens in it, polyphenols, antioxidants. Then, when you ferment it, um, that become, makes it become uh, bioavailable, which basically means that it is basically, the whole thing is going to be used by your body. Oh, it smells amazing. Schwarz says these things can improve gut function. In addition to better digestion, gut health may lead to better mood and stress management. But how do you make kombucha? Basically, it is um, tea, sugar, and the kombucha culture. You're being unmasked. Show me the scoby. That's it. This is him. You kind of mix all of those together. You leave it out room temperature, open to the air, but with a cloth so that no little bugs fly in or anything like that. Um, and then after about uh, a week, two weeks, after that you'll have some homemade kombucha. Schwarz compares the growing kombucha industry to the craft brewing industry. Right now, she mostly does wholesale and convenience stores, health stores, exercise-oriented businesses, and has pop-up sales and does contract flavors. Even though her business is growing, much like the microbes in the symbiotic culture of bacteria and yeast, Schwarz has found her niche and does it for the love of the booch and the business. It's not hard to come to work, you know what I mean? And also it's always a challenge. You know, and I'm always doing something different. I'm always exploring something new. Like the whole idea of business is like this game, like a puzzle, and I just kind of love figuring it out. Dan Gross, News 8.